Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover in for David Carroll and I'm Cindy Sexton. Starting tonight, drivers will notice some changes heading on to Highway 27 from downtown Chattanooga. Chattanooga police and TDOT say they've seen more crashes than usual in the area since crews removed the acceleration lanes. Channel 3's Cameron Taylor joined us live to tell us what all of us drivers can expect. Cam. Greg, in two hours, crews will start replacing the yield signs you see behind me with stop signs at four on ramps. Now, police have responded to more than 40 crashes in this area within the last month. They say that's more than double from this time last year, and they hope this helps. Horns honking and cars lining up. Those are some of the frustrations people have had to deal with as they merge onto Highway 27 from downtown. A car behind me, like like honking the horn at me because I stopped and it's just so been so dangerous. It's been awful trying to drive because you don't know if somebody's just going to pull right out in front of you or if they're actually going to stop and yield. Now drivers like Dana Perry and Katie Gann will have to stop before they get onto the highway. Since last month they've had to yield. TDOT and Chattanooga police say that hasn't been working. We hope everybody slows down and obeys the signs. You know, that's the enforcement side for us. We don't want to have to do that, but it's necessary. Numbers from the police department show they've responded to more than 40 crashes in that construction zone. Most were rear end collisions on the ramps. Speeding has also been a big issue, which is why drivers will see more law enforcement in the area. You know, that enforcement's there because we have people who absolutely refuse to slow down and we're going to slow them down. Lieutenant Austin Garrett hopes the changes will cut down on crashes. With stop signs installed and more police cruisers on the road, some drivers say it could make a difference. I would hope that people would stop there, but also people would probably just do like a rolling stop. Nobody likes to pay for speeding tickets, but the, you know, it's just so important that people slow down through there. As crews install the stop signs, they'll close each ramp. We're told this should be a relatively quick process. And TDOT says the entire 27 project is still on time, expected to be completed in July of 2019. Now, if you're trying to avoid 27, we have a list of detour routes on our website, WRCBTV.com, and inside the WRCB app. We're live in downtown Chattanooga tonight. Cameron Taylor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.